triumph comes out of this you know sketch yes. you're doing on the show right. and you West come yeah. you come in with this dog whose talent is he's an insult comic yes and then i think what we have to do which i have to give you credit for <laughs> is uh two things the choice of the puppet is exceptional <laughs> and 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 I like I say the fact that the puppet has kind of a realistic face, it's but the so, eyes are so funny, the eyes funny. are dead. Yes, and so he says these jokes and stares. And I think, not unlike why I often found Norm Macdonald so funny, is Norm could make his eyes go dead. Yes. and and just kind of stare at you yes. after he said a joke. <laughs> and I do think that Triumph has that. I look into those puppet eyes, and I can yes. watch it forever. I that, know. But the other thing, yeah, is the voice. Because anybody else doing it who had that idea of, oh yeah, it's a dog who's an insult comic, would have done Borscht Belt. Hey, you over there, what are you, sock? You know, Armenia, hey, what well, Armenia? Is that even a country? Sounds like a kind of diarrhea, you know? <laughs> what? what? No, that's a good one, Lawrence. Right, <laughs> no, no, don't write it down. Yeah, that's really good. You don't Armenia, have to write it down. diarrhea. Yeah. Um, Side of. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, right. what I'm saying is that's what anybody else would have done. Robert is the only person I know who would have done, I think it's an old Russian Jewish woman. Am I correct? <laughs> uh, I had grandparents that were first generation immigrants, yeah. you know, who le who escaped Russia during, and they actually emigrated to China first. Uh, They'd be so proud of what you've done. They, oh, they were, <laughs> we must escape persecution. So that so Robert can turn us into a, so, <laughs> may be able to watch, to witness a realistic looking puppet have sex with a live animal. On yes. television, and she's yes. like, "Oh yes, oh yes, what is this television? <laughs> well, it's going to be a thing in the starting with uh, Milton Burn. They're, try be... they're trying to kill us, but if we can escape, <laughs> then <laughs> one, maybe one of our grandchildren, our grandchildren will contribute. Will this. turn us into a horny puppet. The world. Yeah, oh. I have to credit. I have to credit my wife. So, because she's the one who. So I found triumph on this rack of whimsical puppets that were when we were shooting when we were newlyweds and we were uh, hunting for furniture at a country store and we saw this and the puppet was so funny to me these dog puppets and there was a sheep and a cat so i immediately put on one of the dog puppets sniffed her ass with it in the in the room in the in the furniture store and of course she found it funny because she's the perfect woman for me and then she surprised me like in february like two months later after we were married with like seven of these puppets. And that's what gave me the idea for this Westminster thing. And like Dave was having Westminster dogs run up and down the aisles of the Ed Sullivan Theater. Very Dave, very found humor. Yeah. And I was like, so- Our what, version what our, of that. Our version is make it up. Yep. Yeah, so that's- um, Well, so yeah, I yeah, remember yeah. That, 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 and then I remember it, early on before there were remotes, we'd have guests on and Triumph would roast them. And yes, we would it was always like catharsis for the audience. Yeah, and 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 so Triumph would be over behind this little stand, yeah. and then and and I would have interviewed the guest already, and then they go after the guest, yeah. and I'll never forget. Guests would say yes to it, not knowing what exactly. it was. <laughs> Simon Cowell is on. It's the height of uh, the first couple of years of American. Maybe Idol. the first year maybe. of American. He Idol. was like the biggest thing. Yeah. He was huge. He was huge. And he comes on the show, yeah. and we said, "Do you mind?" And he went, "Oh no, you know, please, whatever, whatever <laughs> it is you chaps do, go ahead. I'll just be here with my too tight T-shirt." And, um, <laughs> and so uh, I interview him. It goes, you know, we have a nice interview, and then we come back, and I go, "Oh, and look, there's someone here to say hi to you, uh, Simon." You know, and then you come on, and you, he doesn't know what's happening. You rip into him yeah. and he's chuckling. The crowd's going crazy laughing because right, this right. is the beginning of Triumph Mania. The crowd's going crazy laughing. You're ripping into him and he's watching. And then when it's over, I say, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. And he turns to me and he's covered in sweat. He was covered in sweat and he said, that was rough. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like a guy who had just been beaten with a stick. So funny. And then later I saw him afterward and I was like, was that okay? And he, he had come to understand by then. He was like, no, this is, uh, this would be good for me. Uh, In some way <laughs> would be able to show that I can laugh at myself. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my and God. blood came out of his, a tear yeah. with blood in it. Yeah. But uh, yeah. then it was really fun because before, before the remotes that yes. Triumph did. He was it, already It was people popular. sitting there. And so it was, you know, 
all these great people would sit there yeah. and, and this puppet would or go Or semi-great after. people. Well, please, yeah, at the time. John you know. Tesh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I love John Tesh. Uh, I love him too. I'll go to the mat for John Tesh. But, but anyway, him. you would go after him. And then yes. what you go to do a remote Yes. Westminster Dog Show, yes. and of course, Chil I think Chalemi goes with you. No, it was you know, that the first one was, was Jordan. Was Jordan, and we couldn't get in first because apparently Andy had done something at Westminster that they didn't like, so they weren't going to let us in. And I was like, okay, I guess we'll never do it. And and if I'd never done it, maybe I would have never done a remote because that was the obvious one to do. It was Sweeney yeah. suggested, why don't right. you go to Mike Westminster Sweeney and, said, and hit on these dogs? Yeah, and uh, hump I real, hump been, real dogs. Yeah, because yeah. I've been well, I've been sort of doing it on the show. Yeah, but here's all these dogs, and I loved it. But so then Jordan like creates this scam. Like we gave us, he printed out all these fake NBC. He passes. broke the law. He broke the law, <sighs> and he figured out a side entrance. And he said it's not technically. Um, it's not technically deception because we actually are NBC employees. You know, it was very Jordan rationalization. Yes, yes. <laughs> but it, we got in and it's all because of him that these remotes exist. We tip, we tip our cap now to a man I uh, professionally loathe. Uh, yes. <laughs> I've, I've, I've made a career, uh, a, a fifth career out of uh, being irritated by Jordan Schlansky. Yes. But, um, but no, in, in real life, he saved the day and then you know, remotes come fast and furious and then the iconic crazy Star Wars remote yes. where there's not, there's not a, there's so many. And I remembered it was all still again before the internet, like things couldn't yeah. go viral. But I remember the night we played that, the audience screaming and going wild yes. and thinking this, if there's only some way this can be replayed for everybody throughout all time. And but, fortunately now there is. No, but know? actually it was the first thing on the show that did, because before YouTube, there was something called iFilm. Blair will know this because he's a pathetic nerd, right? Yes, that's true. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> I remember this too. I watched this over and over yes, and over. Yes, on iFilm. Yeah. And they created the term viral video too. Ah, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. And um, so it that's the, that is why everybody even knew it back then it was the first thing on the show that that was like put on i film or whatever it was called and um it was the happiest experience i ever had doing triumph because everybody was like i don't really like making people unhappy. feel bad no. i know it's good television sometimes especially if it's like a person nobody likes but it's so much more fun these guys were fans of you <laughs> yeah and they knew oh, who triumph was I think what and makes they, it... it was like they wanted to meet Triumph. And it was like when I met Don Rickles. What makes you know? it so nice is that, cause I'm the same way. If I think I've hurt someone's feelings, yeah. I don't <laughs> sleep for like two days. If I think yeah. they really got, you right. know, right. and so, um, I'm just saying that to appear nice, but uh, yeah. you, you must I, never sleep. I sleep like a baby. No, you know how he solved that? It was like an aversion therapy. He decided to be mean to everybody. Yeah. And that way yeah. he, he got numb to it. Yeah, yeah. My, okay. little, my son, I'm just, you know, everybody. And so, um, but I think the magic of that was all of the people in line who you're making fun of for being, never seeing a woman or, you know, yeah, being, what, which button do you push to have your mother come uh, get, pick uh, you up, whatever. Andrew all of those, gave me that they're line. all, right. all loving it. And, yes, and, and uh, that's yeah. the key is, and they're just delighted. And now yeah. they're part of history. They're the, like the funniest straight men that you could ask for. Yes. And the fact that they're enjoying it just made it like just a mutual <laughs> pooper and poopee <laughs> united as one. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.